Native Americans here and around the nation are thrilled to see Washington has plans to change the name of its football team. In the end, it was money, a lot of money, by big corporations threatening to abandon the squad that swayed the team's owner. But no matter the reason, it's happening. And that's change many are saying is long overdue. The fight to rid the world of teams with Native American names and images started small by a Minnesotan, and it started decades ago. Clyde Bellacourt has been championing this cause for that long, along with his late brother. And Clyde is a co-founder of the American Indian Movement, a movement he says is about rights and respect. Miigwech. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here uh, today. It's been a long struggle, but you know we never give up in the American Indian Movement. And that is why I thank each and every one of you, because each and every one of you played a major role in dealing with racism, ignorance, that still guides, uh, guides us in America. This is 1992. The Indian people are still here. And racism must go! We have challenged over 2,500 teams, high school, colleges, professional teams. We got rid of them. Got rid of all the high schools right here in the state of Minnesota. And that started our journey. People laughed at us and said that wasn't important. It was more important issues. So if we can't do it with racism, We'll never be able to do anything. That's where the word Redskin comes from. That's the word from the scalpy policy. The team announced in a statement Monday morning, we will be retiring the Redskins name and logo. It was very exciting when I heard, I couldn't believe it. You know, that was, I knew it was going to happen, period. You know, the first two uh, major sponsors uh, started out with $690 billion. 200, you know, that much money. When that sort of money comes into play, things start happening. Because that's the only thing that, that matters. Yeah. It's the only thing that move things. Yeah. And it's unfortunate it's that way, but that's the way it is. Yeah. And now we're asking them to put that money into the communities. That's right. Into yeah. our young people, our youth. Some of them who are killing one another. We have to put a stop to that. And we need money to do that. There's no, no, no kidding about that. We need help in our community. 